It is now my pleasure and my honor to welcome to our shulchan, our synagogue president, to offer his first Yom Kippur message as synagogue president, Matthew Miller. It's an absolute pleasure to be speaking to you today. I am honored and humbled to be president of this incredible, amazing congregation. I remember when I was a kid sitting over there in the brown fake leather chairs that I would listen to the president's high holiday speech and wonder, is that something I could ever do? Well, somehow here I am doing it. My mom of blessed memory always stressed to me the importance of Shara Zedek and its importance in Jewish Detroit and within the conservative movement. Some 40 years ago, Rabbi Groner of blessed memory taught us none of the agencies of Jewish life are able to perform the most indispensable task upon which everything depends, which is to make Jews Jewish. Only the synagogue has that capacity. The synagogue alone has, as its aim, the program of inculcating from childhood the depth of Jewish identity, the sense of Jewish belonging, and commitment to the Jewish future. But of course, Rabbi Groner did not mean any synagogue. He meant this one. Where you belong matters. Where you build your Jewish community matters. Shara Zedek matters to me. Clearly, it also matters to you, which is why you are here or watching the streaming this morning. I am proud to have become bar mitzvah on this bima, to have been married on this bima, to have graduated from Hebrew high school on this bima. One of the best days of my life was seeing my twin sons become bar mitzvah on this bima. All of those life milestones mean a lot to me, and they happened here. This is a special place for a number of reasons. Sure, the architecture is amazing, and a photo of the shul was recently featured on Jeopardy. Our services, especially these high holiday services, are incredible. In fact, we were voted best place to worship in Metro Detroit. But what makes Shar Zedek most special is you, our congregational family. When I joined the board, I took seriously the obligation to come to services. I felt that in order to understand what was happening here, I had to be here. Now that I come to services regularly, my favorite part is celebrating with members. That is what makes membership in our synagogue most special to me. When we have a Shabbat service with an ufruf, or a bar bat mitzvah, or a baby naming, when we honor anniversaries, special birthdays, and other simchas, it is a privilege to join in the celebration. Being part of this community and celebrating together is wonderful for all of us. Being here together is special. My second favorite part of services is hearing our congregants sing. In many congregations, the people in the seats are silent viewers. I love that here at Shar Zedek, our services are, participate, are participatory and people actually participate. That is awesome. Congregation Shar Zedek gives us a home in which we can celebrate, we can mourn, we can learn, we can pray, we can grow, and we can feel part of an amazing community. And of course, there are even more benefits to membership. In addition to seven layer cake on Saturdays, which is a huge draw for me, as a member of Shar Zedek, you have access to this amazing clergy team. Have a life cycle event? They will officiate at it, and it's included in your membership. Members can also be buried at Clover Hill, the most beautiful Jewish cemetery in the city. And in addition to these high holidays and other services, we have incredible programming, most of which is free to members. I hope that you all saw the impact report that was passed out at Rosh Hashanah Services, highlighting many of our achievements in programming during the last year. We accomplished a lot and received a lot of wonderful benefits. Because of how much we receive as members, it is important that we give back too. From time to time, a check will arrive in the office representing a bequest from a member who included Shar Zedek in their will. These are amazing unexpected surprises and wonderful gifts to the shul that are truly a gift to our community. We just received another one last week. Knowing the generosity of our membership, I hope many of you have considered a gift to Shar Zedek in your estate plan, although we do not want to receive it for a long, long time from now. Along those lines, we have recently started a legacy committee to pursue gifts from our members so that we can honor and recognize members now while they are able to appreciate the recognition. If you have already included us in your estate plan, please let us know so we can honor you. 
If you have not, and you are willing and interested in giving back to Sharzedek through your estate, we want to know that also. Every gift, regardless of the size, counts. The committee will start contacting members to encourage participation, but you don't have to wait to be called. Please contact our executive director, Bob Rich, after the holiday, and he will help you get this done. It's really very simple. Another way that we can give back to our synagogue family is to participate in growing our membership. The best way to recruit is from within. So we need you, our members, to attract your friends and family to become members of the shul. They don't even have to live here. We have national memberships for people who live more than 50 miles from Southfield. Sharazetic membership makes a great gift. Please do what you can to help us stay vibrant and growing for the next generations. We also started a new membership recruitment committee if you want to help this effort. A third way to give back to our community is to participate in our events and our conversations. As we look forward to the next century of Sharazetic, thanks to the generosity of the William Davidson Foundation, we have contracted with the Smith Group to conduct a review of our building and our campus to best determine how we might use both for the coming generations. Many of you have shared your thoughts, ideas, and visions, and your input has been very helpful in moving this plan forward. The proposed master plan should be released in a few weeks. Then we will have additional rounds of town halls and discussions related to the conclusions. I also want to mention two very special upcoming experiences. On Thursday, October 19th at 7 p.m., we are hosting Creating Shanghai Sonatas, a musical presentation about the Jews who fled Europe to China in the 1930s. It's an incredible story, and I encourage you to attend, as well as to review the display outside Orley Hall before you leave today. It is generously sponsored by the Lewis C. and Edith Blumberg Foundation in memory of Aileen and Graham Landau. On Thursday, November 15th, also at 7 p.m., we are hosting the world-renowned comedian Modi. If you have not watched his clips on YouTube, I very much suggest you do. This is another free cultural event generously sponsored by the Irving and Beverly Laker Concert Fund. I hope to see you all at both events. Let's try to fill the room as we are today. A fourth way to give back to our synagogue is through volunteering, including taking on leadership positions as board members and committee chairs. Personally speaking, the people with whom I have been fortunate to volunteer are exceptional. They are brilliant, insightful, caring, and wonderful people. It has been and remains a pleasure to be around you and to work together with you to build a greater community. While it is true that my family has been here for many generations, most of the people with whom I serve here have not. In fact, of the officers, I am the only one who grew up here. But that doesn't devalue their or your connection to this place. In fact, it enhances it. The people who are relatively new to Sharzedek have made the choice to join our community and to participate in helping lead our community. That's to be celebrated tremendously. Thank you to the officers for all your help and support. We have a lot more work to do, but I think we will get there together. Also, a very special thanks to the past presidents, the board, the members of our committees, and all of our incredible volunteers who do the important work for all of us. I joined the board 10 years ago. Then I started moving into leadership positions. I have to thank the people that started me on this path, from my mom, whom I know would be quelling right now, to my father-in-law, David Broner, to synagogue past presidents Mary Knoll, Larry Niemer, Jerry Fishman, and Susan Kozik Klein. Without them and their trust in me, I would not be here today. Just in case you missed the last annual meeting, I want to again thank and acknowledge my immediate predecessor, Susan Kozik Klein, for all she has done and all that she continues to do for this synagogue. While serving as president for three years, two of which were during COVID, Susan spent a lot of time mentoring me and educating me for this role. And her work and guidance were invaluable. She is still volunteering and leading in a number of different ways here, including the effort with the Smith Group. While I'm thanking people, I also want to thank the clergy, Executive Director Bob Rich, and the entire staff for all your work, effort, and support. This job would be impossible without you and all that you do every day. Most importantly, thank you to my wife, Stephanie. As another lifelong Sharzetic member, she understands my involvement in the shul and has been incredibly supportive of me as I serve in this role. It is a blessing to be part of the Sharzetic family, and our blessings multiply when we can give back to our community. 
Through legacy giving, membership recruitment, program participation, and volunteering, especially for leadership positions, we can ensure that this synagogue and our Judaism continue Lador Vador from generation to generation. As Rabbi Groner taught us in that same Rosh Hashanah sermon I mentioned earlier, it is the synagogue that has preserved, taught, and renewed a common history. We are linked by a common destiny. We are inspired by a common vision. Thank you all for being here and for being part of our Sharzetic family. May we all be inscribed in the Book of Life for a healthy and happy new year. Shana Tovah.